Okay guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add another Facebook user to your business page. You might wanna do this for a number of reasons. Perhaps you want to add an admin uh, onto your page, uh, maybe uh, your spouse or someone like that. That way, in case something happens, like maybe you're, you're going away to a conference or something like that, uh, or you lose your Facebook account or something, you'll want to have a backup that can jump into your page and take over if needed. Um, maybe you wanna add in someone that does not have admin rights. You wanna add in perhaps uh, a virtual assistant, uh, an assistant on your team or something like that, that will be regularly posting content to your page. Or if you're gonna be outsourcing any work to maybe like a, a marketing agency to, to be able to post content and run ads for you, you might need to add them into your page. So I'm gonna show you really quickly how you're gonna go about adding this. Now, I definitely suggest looking at documentation uh, and we'll provide that in terms of the different rights that are associated with the different user roles. So really quickly, in your business page in Facebook, uh, off to the left, and again, they always change the, the, the layout of where they place things on uh, Facebook. So you might have to research exactly where it's at if, if this looks a little bit different to you. But on the left under Manage Page, you're gonna scroll down here and you're gonna go to Settings. And then under settings, you're gonna select page roles. And then you can see right here under assign a new page role, uh, this is where we're gonna add in that page role. So you'll need to be connected with this person on Facebook. Uh, so let's go ahead and put in that person's name. And I'm gonna give them admin rights. And then it's gonna notify you that if you're adding a new admin to your page, please keep in mind, that they'll have the same permissions as you do to make changes to this page. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add. And it's gonna prompt me to put in my password. Okay, so a request has been sent to uh, this particular individual's account. So I'm gonna pause the video and hop back over to that account and show you how that person should accept the invitation to this page. Okay, so I just showed you that I invited myself into my wife's uh, business account uh, for access to the Framingham window cleaning business. So Facebook sent me this notification email. Um, this is what it looks like. You know, the subject is pretty standard. It says the business page has invited you to work on their business in Facebook. And I just got to go ahead and uh, click to get started and I'll be added in there. Uh, but this particular email, this is what you would expect to find. Um, and you might need to kind of guide someone else. Like if you're inviting an employee in uh, to your account, uh, or uh, maybe a, a partner, maybe like a marketing agency partner or something like that, uh, or you're bringing in on a client or something like that, you might see some sort of a, a notification email like this when you're trying to get access or give access. Let's wait for that to verify after we filled out that information there. Okay, so there we go. So now on my side, I will see Framingham window cleaning in here. All right, guys, moving on to the next video.